Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of eyeshadow tutorials that suit my hooded eye boys and girls. But if you don't have hooded eyes, don't worry. It'll work for you too. You just don't have to fake your crease. So this is the look we are doing today. I was so inspired by this picture right here that Charlotte Tilbury posted. So I tried my best to recreate it with what I have. Now I talk about this in the video. I challenge you guys once again to shop your stash before going out and buying immediately what you see, whether it's here on YouTube with people talking about what they have or seeing something on Instagram. Shop your stash before going out. It makes things a lot easier and it makes you feel better because you're not digging into that wallet when you probably have 14 other things in your collection already that work for this. A lot of times I'll go out and buy things and then I'm like, why did I buy that? I already have something so similar. And for a look like this, this is very, very common colors. I'm gonna show you some options with different palettes. I do end up using two different palettes, but there are just so many options and this is just a very, very easy look to shop your stash with. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this holiday inspired look right here, make sure you keep watching. All right, first things first, I know my ear is super red right now. I just put in these fake cuff things and right when I put them in, they make my ears really red. I have the world's most sensitive ears. So that's gonna stay red for a little bit. Ignore that and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lid with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I use the shade Vanilla when I'm not tanned. Normally, I wouldn't do this first. Normally, I put on my base first and then I kind of take my base and concealer up. I don't like start out with a full on concealer, but since I'm not starting with my base first, since I don't know how much this is going to fall out, I want to go ahead and conceal all of the darkness on my lids and discoloration. And this stuff is really pigmented, so I'm not going to like go in too crazy with that. And then I'm just going to take my Japanese sponge and blend that out. And then I'm just gonna set that so we have a nice smooth base with the Physicians Formula Airbrush Powder. This is in the translucent shade, even though it's really not translucent. So you're gonna wanna make sure you don't have any creases in there. My eyes crease like crazy, so I have to do this pretty fast. And then I'm just gonna set very lightly. Like I said in the beginning, I was super inspired by this picture. I think it's just perfect for holiday time. So I don't want you guys to have to go out and buy new products, and I didn't want to do that either. Obviously, Charlotte Tilbury like linked what they used, but I have so many palettes that I can pretty much achieve this same look. I wanted to have some affordable options, some kind of middle of the road, and then high end. Whatever you have, these are really, really common warm colors. So first, I have the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. I've had this one for a long time. I can definitely make a lot of these shades work if I wanted to go in with these and Wet n Wild has some of the best drugstore formula formula in my opinion. Again, Wet n Wild Fire for a Queen palette. This one is probably what I'm going to go in and use. Focus please. There we go. I might have to kind of top off the gold shade a little bit because this one might not be quite as glittery but this is like a $3 drugstore palette as opposed to I think her palette is 66 her palettes are beautiful but they're expensive and I know not everybody can afford that I also have the tartlet toasted palette this was a super popular palette mine is a little bit like crushed here so I don't want to lift it up but you could see a lot of these tones could totally work as well and then I have the Sigma warm neutrals volume 2 palette which would also work perfectly for this kind of look. So shop your stash before going out immediately and buying what people are linking. I can't say that enough. Like even being on here and telling you guys about things that I love, I am such an advocate of shopping your stash and trying to get the same look before going out and buying. That's why you don't see too many like hauls on my videos because I think it's just really important to not especially at my point in my life, I'm trying to save to buy a home for myself. I would rather shop my stash, get the same kind of look and share that with you. So I hope that's helpful. I know I just went off on a tangent, but like I said, I'm going to, for the most part, use the Fit for a Queen palette from Wet n Wild for this look. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with the transition shade here. It doesn't look like, based on the picture, there's that much of a transition. Now, obviously, this picture is retouched and everything, so it looks quite light up here, but I do want to kind of frame out 
where I'm going to start my shadow just because I have hooded eyes and I have to kind of create my shape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take that on my Smith 232 brush, which is nice and fluffy. All right, you guys, so all I've done is taken that crease color from my outer corner to the inner corner, basically where my eye, my nose rather, starts to contour in. So if you have hooded eyes, a good tip is to kind of place the crease color where your orbital bone is, and if you're not familiar with that, that's where basically your eye kind of starts to sink in. So that's basically when you feel it, you'll feel like you can push in that's where my orbital bone is and that allows the shadow to be seen when I'm not raising my eyes like this and I wanted to make sure this was nice and blended out so I took a lot of time with that just to kind of slowly apply the color and make sure that I've got a nice blend to make everything look seamless going forward so I hope that makes sense let me know if you have any questions on that below but the next shade I want to go into actually isn't in this Wet n Wild palette, so I'm gonna step into something else. I have my Emily Edit the Wants palette, and I'm gonna go in with Good Vibes. It's kind of this shimmery shade right here. It's burgundy, it pretty much matches. It might be a little more pinky than the one in the Charlotte Tilbury palette, but I think it's really close. And you can't exactly see, I'm gonna look at my picture, you can't exactly see what is on her lid, so I like that. It kind of lets me kind of get creative and not follow everything exactly. So I'm gonna go into my Smith 235 brush. This is a little more pointed and it has kind of like a flat side. And I'm just gonna start to build that kind of on the outer third and feather it in a bit. I'm not sure, it looks like she might use a little bit of the gold in the inner corner, but we'll, we'll get there later. I'm gonna mainly focus that color and then I might take a lighter shade on like the inner area there. And I think that's pretty much gonna be it, but, but we'll see as we go here. So I'm gonna step into good vibes a little bit. I love this shade, I love this palette. This was in my 2018 favorite products. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. Those are my like, I have not stopped touching them this year. So starting here again, I'm just gonna kind of pat and it's almost like she takes this color into the crease a little bit. It's not like it's totally matte in her crease. So I'm just gonna kind of build that up into the crease area. So here we go. I mean, how beautiful is this shade. I love it. Kind of bringing it down at an angle as well. So I'm kind of like pushing and then pulling to swipe. And then while I'm here, before starting in on the other eye, I want to grab a pencil brush and now I'm gonna jump back into that Wet n Wild palette and take that darker burgundy shade and I'm just gonna kinda intensify towards the lower lash line here just to add some dimension and definition. Again, I'm gonna kinda do this in like a wing-like motion. Stepping back into good vibes, I just want to blend all of that together now so it's not like a harsh line. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of the brow bone color back into that Wet n Wild palette. I'm going to kind of use that to connect right here in the middle so it's kind of going a little bit from like a darker to a lighter. All right, so I love how that looks. I think that looks gorgeous. So I'm trying to decide now if I wanna take a skin tone color or if I wanna take the gold in the Wet n Wild palette and just touch a little bit right here. You could see I pretty much dragged those shimmer shades in. So I don't even know if I need anything there. I'm afraid if I go in with a light shade, 
it's gonna be too creamy and too stark. So you know what, let me even out this eye and think about it while I even out that eye and then I will come back here and we will figure it out together. All right, so I went ahead and finished up this eye. I'm a little dry on this eye so you could see it's pulling a little bit more of the shimmer. Whenever I put shimmer on my eyes and I have like a dry eye, it pulls a little shimmer so that's why you see that there. But I'm gonna go in with that burgundy shade in the Wet n Wild palette on both eyes here and just kind of smoke it out a little more around the lash line so I've got some more definition there and then I'll blend this out. I just think I need a little more darkness around the eye and as you can see I cleaned up all the fallout for the most part while I was finishing up this eye. So just take a flat brush, this is a MAC, I think it's called a 212. Tons, tons of companies make them and I'm just kind of recklessly applying it around my lash line and you could see I just blended those shimmer shades kind of inward so honestly I don't think I'm going to apply a shadow on the like inner third area I kind of like how it's going from darker to lighter but when I do the lower lash line we'll see how I feel about that I'm just gonna kind of touch over here as well to kind of build that exaggerated wing. And then I'm just gonna go in with a pencil brush. I'm gonna kind of rub off what I have left on it and soften that liner. Could also use a Q-tip. I think Q-tips are so underrated in makeup. We're so obsessed with brushes these days when Q-tips work just as well sometimes. All right, so I'm actually gonna pop off here now and do my base. I'm actually filming another video for my favorite base routine right now. It's drugstore and I am loving it. So I'm gonna pop off here and I will come back here with my base on and we will finish up the eyes. It's so weird jumping between two videos, but I went ahead and did my base, my brows, and my lashes. I'm gonna list it down below, but just in case you are wondering, for my foundation, I went in with the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation and the Catrice HD Liquid. This is like my favorite combo lately. I went in with the Kiss Corset Lashes, which are very dramatic and beautiful. And let's go ahead and get started on the lower lash line. So again, I'm gonna go in with Good Vibes, and I'm just taking that on a pencil brush. This is a wet n wild pencil brush and I'm gonna look up while I do this so I have total access to my lower lash line and this is pretty exaggerated in the picture so I'm just gonna kind of work that under the eye I did throw on a nude liner as well and a black liner on my upper waterline but it's kind of transferring if you guys have any suggestions please share a liner that doesn't transfer like the black to the bottom because I always get that. That's like always something I have to deal with. And I'm just gonna kind of take that from outer corner in to about a third of the way. I'm actually gonna switch over to a pencil brush to get a little more precise. All right, so as you can see, I smoked that down a lot. And I think I am gonna go ahead and take the gold shade in the palette and kind of apply it on the lower lash line right there. It kind of looks like she has more of a champagne gold color, but I just want to see what this looks like. And I, I don't want to like jump around with too many palettes for you guys. So I'm just going to take a small brush here. This is something that I got from Amazon. It's called Jaff Makeup Brush. And I'm going to dip into the gold shade and see what that looks like on the lower lash line here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like that a lot. I think I might have done this in another video with a similar kind of thing. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, that's a little bit different from what she had because hers is a little more champagne-y, but that's okay. Kind of like it. Now, do I want to bring it up? No, I'm not going to bring it up. Instead, I'm going to take the Nikki Tutorials Glow Getter. 
no, sorry, this is called Everglow. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And that is what I'm gonna take on the upper lash line. Right there. And then I just want to pop right back in with that blending brush so it's not quite so stark. All right, cool. So I'm going to pop off once again. I know I'm kind of jumping on and off and on and off, but I'm going to apply some lower lash line mascara. I'm going to apply the rest of my like bronzer, blush, all that good stuff. And then I will be here to show you what everything looks like. So I will see you in just a second. All right, you guys, I finished up the rest of my makeup and this is the completed look. I have a little bit I can see in my monitor of like I uh, glue right there, which was probably on through the whole video, but that's okay. Let's ignore it because you guys get the overall picture of the look. So easy, once again, all my looks are super easy. I just think it's a little more flattering for me. Did wanna address this beautiful lip that I think turned out really well and a lot like the picture. I used my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in dark red to kind of give like a darker line. I used the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Jazz Lipstick, which is just stunning for a base. And then over that, I used the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Classic, which is a beautiful, beautiful, comfortable gloss. Go check out these if you haven't. I have a, cu a couple of shades and I love them all. So that's it, you guys. I did end up going in with my flat liner brush on the lower lash line with the burgundy shade just to kind of add some definition over there. I think that really kind of rounded everything out and I think it turned out pretty well. So I hope this video was helpful to some of you. And I did want to say thank you so much for everything in 2018, you guys. You have made being on YouTube so enjoyable. I just hit 20,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. I know that's not a lot, but it means so much that there's people on here who are learning from my videos and getting something out. I wouldn't care if I had two subscribers, to be honest, as long as I was helping you guys. That's why I wanted to restart my channel. I've always wanted to help educate and make people, if you don't have like the typical eye shape, if you have hooded eyes, you know that's like the main focus of my channel because I have them make you feel more comfortable with shadow by trying some new things. I've been so discouraged in my lifetime because of my hooded eyes in the past. I've like given up on makeup, not wanted to do anything, and now I'm finally embracing it and I hope I hope that my videos continue to inspire you if you have hooded eyes or don't have hooded eyes, whatever it is, because you guys make it so worth continuing to make videos on here. I have a normal nine to five that can be super, super stressful. So getting on here and talking to you guys and helping you guys helps me just as much as my videos hopefully help you. So I'm gonna stop here because I'm gonna start to get emotional, but thank you so much for everything in 2018, you guys. You make being here so, so worth it. I hope this video was helpful to some you. I hope you have the happiest holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope you spend them with family or without whatever you guys like. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and a very, very happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing any more videos, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next one. And I will see you in 2019. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.